Hello there. Are you Cairns? What do you want? We've heard all about the gambling and arm wrestling here. You seem like the likely sort, and I'm up for it. I start at ten shillings. Suits me. You were lucky. I wasn't focused. Let's go again. I'm ready to try again. Fine. If you want me to take all your money, no problem with that. Well, good for you, I reckon. You're stronger than you look. Here's your ten shillings. I'd like to buy you a drink. Good winner as well. That's good. Let's have a drink. You're a good type. Seems you've managed to settle down in life. You've got money, eh? Not all that much. Oh, well. At least you're not as poor as me. Why do you say poor? You're not working. I'm a harpooner. But you see, the whalers are rare. They don't pay much. So, as a result, find myself arm wrestling to pay for my drink. A harpooner. Interesting. You've had a lot of adventures, I bet. Ah, of course. It's been a dozen years since I've sailed. I've seen everything. Gold Wallace. Damn Black Peter, Great Roger, we sailed to the Cape of Good Hope. Black Peter, you say? I've heard rumours about that one. He was the worst of them all. He was a liar, and violent too. Swinging those fists of his around. He was a tyrant, and not much of a captain. At least, not as good as Great Roger. I see, yes. I was told terrible tales about Black Peter. But you ain't heard the worst. Tell me, and let's have another drink. It was in 1883 that it happened. The August of that year. Peter Carey was captain of the Sea Unicorn. And I was a spare harpooner. We were coming out of the ice pack on our way home. One evening, we saw a little craft that had been blown north. There was only one man on her, and he wasn't a sailor. The crew must have thought that she had foundered, and they made for the Norwegian coast in the dinghy. 
I guess they all drowned. We took the man on board. And who was he? I don't know. During the crossing, he and the skipper enjoyed some long talks. His baggage was just a tin box. That's strange enough. Aye, even stranger was that on the second night, he disappeared. Nobody knew what happened to him. And of course, nobody could ask Black Peter about it. You know what happened, don't you? I do. I saw the skipper tie his heels and push him over the rail in the middle of my watch on that dark night. Two days before we sighted the Shetland lights. Black Peter's a murderer. Aye. But those that know him wouldn't be surprised to hear it. But all this must stay between us. All right? Of course. Back in a second. I'm off to the Kazi. I'll be here with my drink. Here it is. Have you got any tobacco? We've run out of mine. Nah, I lost my pouch. I don't know where. Wait a minute. What's this? Oh, is this your tobacco pouch? Well, oh, oh it is. Well, I have to go now. I know a captain who's planning an expedition to Cape Cod. Captain Ahab's his name. He commanded the Pequod. He might need good harpooners. I'll tell him about you. Maybe. If you like, I... I'm done here. It's time to leave. Please escort this suspect for interrogation. Tell me, Mr. Nelligan, what exactly were you hoping to find inside Peter Carey's cabin? I... I, I was trying to find some information about my father. I assume you had another purpose. To retrieve the bond certificates, am I correct? Yes. I discovered some time ago that a few of the missing securities had reappeared on the London market. You can imagine my amazement. I spent months trying to find them, and at last I discovered that the original seller had been Captain Peter Carey. These papers, they belong to my family, but I could not find them there. That's all for now. Well, I will see you soon, young man.
The case is solved. I am now ready to present the guilty party. So tell me, who killed Black Peter? It was John Nelligan, Inspector. I thought as much, but I failed to see his motive. Revenge, Inspector. Black Peter possessed the bond certificates that had belonged to Nelligan's father, and young Nelligan wished to retrieve them. Well then, I'll arrest this Nelligan. I don't fancy his chances of getting out of prison after this. I will accompany you, Inspector. You are guilty of the murder of Black Peter. Confess now, and your punishment may be more merciful. No! I didn't kill him! Your motive? The valuable securities that Peter Carey stole from your father. Carey refused to return the bond certificates, and then he threatened you. You were afraid, and in your panic, you took the harpoon and made your lucky throw. But that's not true! You're a liar, Mr. Nelligan. It's all over now. The case is resolved, Inspector. I shall return to Baker Street. Very well, Mr. Holmes. Goodbye for now. The case is solved. I am now ready to present the guilty party. So tell me, who killed Black Peter? It was John Nelligan, Inspector. I thought as much, but I failed to see his motive. Revenge, Inspector. Black Peter possessed the bond certificates that had belonged to Nelligan's father, and young Nelligan wished to retrieve them. Well then, I'll arrest this Nelligan. I don't fancy his chances of getting out of prison after this. I will accompany you, Inspector. John Nelligan, it was you who killed Black Peter. You attempted to convince him to return the bond certificates, and you threatened to call the police. Peter Carey was drunk. He drew his knife. In panic, you took the harpoon and made your lucky throw in self-defense. Put that in your report, Lestrade. No. I didn't kill anyone. You have it all wrong. You better thank Mr. Holmes for saving your neck, Nelligan. The case is resolved, Inspector. I shall return to Baker Street. Very well, Mr. Holmes. Goodbye for now. The case is solved. I am now ready to present the guilty party. So tell me, who killed Black Peter? It was Liam Hurtley. That doesn't surprise me. I've never seen a guiltier looking fellow. He was in love with Judith Carey. It caused a conflict that proved fatal for her husband. I see. Come on now, let us confront him. Liam Hurtley, you are formally accused of the murder of Peter Carey. We are aware that you were in love with Carey's wife. He was a violent and irascible man. He needed to be eliminated. You had no qualms. But that's absurd. I'm innocent. Well, we caught you, lad. The case is resolved, Inspector. Very well.
The case is solved. I am now ready to present the guilty party. So tell me, who killed Black Peter? It was Liam Hurtley. That doesn't surprise me. I've never seen a guiltier looking fellow. He was in love with Judith Carey. It caused a conflict that proved fatal for her husband. I see. Come on now, let us confront him. Liam Hurtley, it was you who killed Black Peter. He learned of your relationship with his wife, and he asked that you meet him to share in a drink. Then began the quarrel. He drew his knife, and in self-defense, you took up the harpoon. Lestrade, please put that in your report. I deny everything. You have no proof. Calm down and thank your stars that Mr. Holmes just saved your neck. The case is resolved, Inspector. I shall return to Baker Street. Very well, Mr. Holmes. Goodbye for now. The case is solved. I am now ready to present the guilty party. So tell me, who killed Black Peter? There are two culprits, Inspector, Nelligan and Hurtley. What? Well, I would never have guessed, Mr. Holmes. They are a rotten pair, though. It was a combination of two motives, culminating in one crime. What were their motives? The first was revenge. Black Peter possessed the bond certificates that had belonged to Nelligan's father, and young Nelligan wished to retrieve them. And the second? The second was a crime of passion. Liam Hurtley was in love with Black Peter's wife, and this caused a conflict between him and Carrie. Well, well, well. Makes sense, Mr. Holmes. I suggest that you organize a small confrontation between the two, just to confirm my accusations. That's a good idea, Mr. Holmes. I'll talk to these fellows. Join me in the interrogation room. Gentlemen, we know everything about your association to kill Black Peter. Admit that you planned it together. Our association? I don't even know this man. You needed to kill Peter Carey. There had to be two of you there. Ridiculous. I'm innocent. All that remains is to determine the level of guilt. Which one of you is the initiator in this case? But I just told you I've never seen this man before. It's him. He's the culprit. He was forcing me. He threatened me. He's the mastermind behind it all. Shut up. You're a lunatic. Well, it all seems very clear, don't you think, Mr. Holmes? Inspector, I believe that Nelligan is the true culprit. Hurtley was his accomplice, blinded by his love for Peter's wife. You've got it wrong. It isn't true. That's right. I confess. Well, young man, it turns out you are the gang leader. I don't fancy your chances now. The case is resolved, Inspector. I shall return to Baker Street. Very well, Mr. Holmes. Goodbye for now. The case is solved. 
I am now ready to present the guilty party. So tell me, who killed Black Peter? There are two culprits, Inspector. Nelligan and Hurtley. What? Well, I would never have guessed, Mr. Holmes. They are a rotten pair, though. It was a combination of two motives, culminating in one crime. What were their motives? The first was revenge. Black Peter possessed the bond certificates that had belonged to Nelligan's father, and young Nelligan wished to retrieve them. And the second? The second was a crime of passion. Liam Hurtley was in love with Black Peter's wife, and this caused a conflict between him and Carrie. Well, well, well. Makes sense, Mr. Holmes. I suggest that you organize a small confrontation between the two, just to confirm my accusation. That's a good idea, Mr. Holmes. I'll talk to these fellows. Join me in the interrogation room. Gentlemen, we know everything about your association to kill Black Peter. Admit that you planned it together. Our association? I don't even know this man. You needed to kill Peter Carey. There had to be two of you there. Ridiculous. I'm innocent. All that remains is to determine the level of guilt. Which one of you is the initiator in this case? But I just told you I've never seen this man before. It's him. He's the culprit. He was forcing me. He threatened me. He's the mastermind behind it all. Shut up. You're a lunatic. Well, it all seems very clear, don't you think, Mr. Holmes? Both are guilty, of course, but I believe that Hurtley was the initiator of the crime. It's ridiculous. Why would I need the help of this weakling? You wanted to be rid of the man who was terrorizing his wife and who prevented the two of you from being together. Young Nelligan was just following his lead. You are wrong. I have nothing whatsoever to do with this. You'll explain that to the judge. The case is resolved. Very well. Good afternoon. I must be at the wrong address. I'd like to speak with a ship's captain, a eh, Captain Ahab. Is that you? No. My name is Sherlock Holmes. That detective fella. So, you wanted to see me? That is correct. We need to talk. About what? About Black Peter, who was killed in his own hut with a harpoon. You know, don't you? Yes. Hell. The tobacco pouch. You recognized it. Oh, the sailor. It was you. Unbelievable. Well, fine. I confess. But if you really do know everything, you should also know that I didn't want to kill him. He made me do it. I know. Did you know about this story with the bond certificates? Did you need money? Yeah. I just wanted him to cough up a little silver. I'm out of work, and I thought maybe he could help me. Well, he refused outright, and he insulted me. I reminded him I knew all about that murder he committed at sea in 1883. Then he got mad when I spoke about his treasure. I barely just had time to throw the harpoon at him before he could jump at me with his knife. 
You know the truth? What will you do now? I ask that you return the bond certificates. Keep some of them. You will need them in your exile. It is better that you leave the country for a few years. And you won't say anything to the police? I will not say anything as long as you return the money. Well, I'll do as you ask. But what about Inspector Lestrade? I will deal with him. Goodbye. It's good that you asked me to come, Mr. Holmes. We do need to talk. About what? What do you mean? Our case, Mr. Holmes. You sent me a message via your little thug. His name is Wiggins, Inspector. Telling me that the case is solved. Well, Mr. Holmes, tell me, who is our murderer and where is he? The morgue. Eh? His name is, or rather was, Pablo Coventrao. He was also on the ship with Peter Carey, and he was a harpooner. I'll tell you everything, Inspector, but do calm down. Mrs. Hudson will bring us tea and orange cake. Orange cake? You're spoiling me, Mr. Holmes. That's my favourite. Ah, Mr. Holmes. Inspector Lestrade told me that I should thank you for clearing my name. He also said that you were waiting for me here. I came as fast as I could. I cannot thank you enough. It is all because of you that this nightmare is finally over. I believe that this belongs to you. My father's securities? Incredible! But how did you get them? It would take far too long to explain. Tell me, this is extraordinary. You are a genius. Then that may serve as an explanation. Goodbye, Mr. Nelligan, and good luck. Goodbye, Mr. Holmes, and thank you. A thousand times thank you. If you wouldn't mind, Mr. Holmes, could you explain it to me? As I informed you on our way here, Patrick Cairns is the murderer of Black Peter. Why bring me here? Wouldn't it be better if we were out looking for him? That would be futile, as he will be with us in approximately 12 seconds. Oh, oh well, if this is your idea of humour... No, I just heard the front door. Prepare yourself. Good day, gentlemen. A young lad gave me a note from Captain Ahab. Am I at the right address? Is he here? Indeed, it is the correct address. But in place of your captain, may I present to you Inspector Lestrade of Scotland Yard? That means... It means, my friend, that you are arrested for the murder of Black Peter. What? What? A trap? You think you can take me? Here now. We'll have none of that. And I say that we will! Are you all right? Are you able to stand? Oh, oh my jaw! Gaw! He took me by surprise, Mr. Holmes. Otherwise, he would have seen what I'm capable of. Oh. Yes, he was lucky. Ah. Yeah, but you got him. It was remarkably easy. He lost his balance after he struck you. And you practice boxing, I know. You must have hit him hard. Our fellow is knocked out. Hmm. We should call for a police cab and then take you to the hospital. Yes, well, 
No need for a hospital. I would prefer to keep this between us. <clears throat> you know. Of course, Inspector. The case is closed. <laughs>